I got Zephyr SM I bring you another commentary on Forza Motorsport 4 for you today. This is an online race I had a good, good month month or two ago. Um really good good racing with this guy. I sent him a message afterwards where well, we both sent a message at the same time, which is really good, saying good race and hope we have a good couple of races after that. So really good race, really entertaining race, very close as well in the end, but um Everyone's in the same car, no upgrade, no tunes, you know, all usual stuff because I don't like going to races where someone's got a grip advantage or whatever. Just like to race all the cars the same so then there's no unfair opinion saying, oh my god, you got more horsepower than me, but yes, it's still in the same class. Do it all the same car, no tunes, up, no upgrades, it's more fun. Um, so it's all about driver skill, not about driver moaning. But anyway, um, that's already a lap already. Damn, I've got to get this commentary done quick. So this is, before I get on with the commentary, this is a 10 lap race. So I've got about 8 minutes or so. But today's commentary is going to be about the results of the subscriber Let's Play Choice. Now, I put the choice out on the 5th of Feb. I believe, yes I did, 5th of February I put out the subscriber Let's Play Choice video which had, um, if people didn't see it, it had oh, I can't remember now, Blur, Split Second, Mont Nation Racing, Motorstorm Apocalypse and Crash Team Racing and today I'm going to show, reveal, well you probably know some of you what it is but I'm going to reveal what games got the top spot and what games got the bottom spot and pretty much um, the two groups so you got a tie for the lead and you got a tie for the bottom which you know is interesting 100 subs and I had um, what was it 4, 8, about 13 comments ok uh, fair dues people don't like the sub, box, sub boxes are broken as well so you know you can't really give that much I'm not complaining about you guys you guys rock who, who voted for it you want to see what you want to see so, but you may have to do it again. Um, and what I mean by do it again, you may have to vote again because of what's going to happen. So, let me just give you a rundown on from like last till first. So, tied third, tied third place, pretty much. So, they're on the podium, all sharing a small part of it. Um, was Crash Team Racing, which was a real was it's a shame because I wanted to see because that was my first time properly owning Crash Team Racing as well. I've now owned Crash Team Racing I only played it around my mate's house when I went around here so didn't really have a chance to actually play story mode but you know I could just play it on my own if I want to put some gameplay up I put some gameplay up. So kind of disappointed about that. Some Apocalypse yeah okay I can see why. Uh, I played a, I played a bit more of it with, with my mate just having a laugh on it. it was, it's entertaining but uh, I think it'd be quite boring. I had to put the difficulty right up to get some good gameplay, such comments. Um, and the other one was Mont Nation Racers. Now, thinking about Mont Nation Racers, you could do a lot more stuff in that. Uh, customize mod, cu customize your car, customize tracks. Like, I'm thinking about a new series for Mont Nation Racers to get that up a bit and see what happens so you know I'm gonna try and do a little bit of that and see what I can actually create on that um, there's a little tip for you or a little hint um, so yeah it was really interesting to see them games being at the bottom but the two games that managed on the top on the top step of the podium for now is Blur and Split Second now these these games came out within a week of each other and it's very interesting to see you guys wanting to see those types of games because I feel these games are forgotten souls, forgotten memories, and or I for, I, or a game that didn't have a chance because when Blur came out in beta for the multiplayer, everyone loved it. Everyone loved its chaos online thing, but then when the full game came out, it disappointed. And that's what happened because the game didn't meet the, um, to developers' expectation of what happened in the demo. They had to shut down. The bizarre creations had to shut down. And I'm really disappointed in that because more people should be playing bizarre. Not because it's a single player, but because it's a multiplayer. Because all games now are being mo focused on like co op or going on multiplayer. Because you see all. Because that's the new trend now. You don't want, they want a single player, but more people focus on 
play and multiplayer because that's where the majority of the time is and that's what they're paying for to play online especially on xbox live or on psn you've got this playstation plus bin so you can subscribe to that and get a few more content but more and more people are now playing online so blur was a really good game to actually have um, and to play online it's the same as split second really like the demo came out everyone loved it because it disruptible environments that you can trigger so it's it's amazing how games can shift to single player games to a full fledged multiplayer experience and with constant upgrades to it it will be better and better but yeah blur split second are the two top games that came out on the vote but now this leaves me in a dilemma, do I choose Blur or do I choose Split Second? I could say it's only way, there's only one way to find out, but that's Harry Hill's line, I'm not Harry Hill. Um, so what I'm going to do, as I let you chose the what games you want to see, I'm going to give you another choice. I'm going to give you one last week to choose what game you want to see being played. So it's either Split Second or Blur. Now, at the end of the week, if there is still no decision, I will get a coin. I will record myself flipping a coin, putting on the end, end of next week's video or at the beginning of the video, and you will see for yourself what game to choose from. So I'm going to give you one last week to choose what game you want to see on for the Let's Play. I don't mind either one, because I played both of them for demo wise and they're both fun games so it's going to be interesting to see what you guys choose for out of those two now so this is this is pretty much a final so next week is going to be the final final hopefully so you know let's hope you can all vote guys and make sure you want to choose what game you want to do so it is out with blur and split seconds so just and I forgot to mention in the video last time if you want if you want to vote for either game leave your vote in the comments below um, or you can send me a message through YouTube or Twitter but remember guys it is only one vote each so don't only remember you got one vote and you can delete your vote if you made the wrong decision so that is pretty much the commentary for today it is slowly wrapping up so I'm gonna say thank you for watching guys if you don't forget to vote with what game you want to do it's either split second or blur none of the other three games are enabled to vote now it's just those two games so I hope you enjoyed this commentary guys don't forget to vote like I said and I'm gonna be off now so this has been F Racing Man talking about the results of another vote coming out I might just ruined that ending oh well I'm not doing it again so this has been F Racing Man guys I hope you all all doing well guys and take care now.